So today, good people, we're back on the Genesis G80. And what we're gonna be replacing is the trunk release button. And this is the part number. So with that being said, the reason why we're replacing it is, you look at here, this one, it's all broken. Rubbing everything, just tore up. So we're gonna be working on taking it out. So this is already loose. I just gotta finish shaking it out. I still got the sides for the cover, for the railing, for the smart trunk. Um, once I drop this, I'm gonna pull this cover down and I'm gonna cut you guys back off. So, I already jumped ahead and took the panel down and you're gonna need two eight millimeter screws, or, or Phillips said, to take the screws out, which are these two right here. One right there, and the other one's right here. One of these, hold this in underneath the bottom end of the trunk. That part slides out. So when you pull it on it, make sure you don't break it. And the handle right here on the inside of the trunk, that has to be done. That's the only other thing that has screws in it. Now, for the fun part. This is the old one. It's got these little metal clips on the ends of it. Got one on this end, one on that end, and two right there. And on the other side, there were two, but I had to pop them off for them to come out through the trunk. From the, um, you pop them from the inside and push down on it. But I'm gonna put it together in reverse so you can kind of see what everything does. So on the old one, I took the camera off and put it onto the new one, which is right here. There's a little plug inside. The plug's right there. So once you get all that stuff squared away like so, you got four Phillips head screws that goes in there. And now on this one, you can see the clips that push back into place that holds everything together. This looks way better than the old one did by far. So, to put everything back together, like I said, you just it basically just walks itself back in. So just wait for everything to click and lock once you get it together. Make sure you got all the gaskets on there too as well. Because if you're missing the gasket, you're gonna have a water problem later on. So it's a little tight because it's new. And voila, it's back in place. Camera and all. Kind of press it a little bit around the edges, bottom, make sure everything's tight. Then come back around and make sure everything's plugged back in. Like so. Plug it in. And just plug it in right there. And it's done. And then of course, everything goes back together in reverse. Test your work, push the button, the light should come on in the trunk, which it did. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the description at the bottom and continue to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.